It's a new year, so that means new goals, or maybe the same ones. I don't know. Let's see. Hey guys, it's Jesse. I'm from Puerto Rico originally, but I live in Japan and I'm an artist. Today, we are talking about resolutions for 2019, or goals, whilst I show you my artwork of the year, which is about practicing plants and going back to doing more emotional pieces. Let's get started. One of the things that my animation teacher used to tell me, or us, was that your first drawing is not going to be your final product. So what you're seeing right now is that first step. The first step is basically just getting whatever it is out of your system. I like Splatoon and I still like it now, so I just, I needed to get it out of the system. And I just, I like Splatoon, so I wanted to draw it. The next drawing that you do is figuring out your shapes, figuring out the motion of your character, figuring out where things are going to be placed and it kind of depends what you're doing but that's what you figure out a little bit more on your second one and then your third one is supposed to be adding details adding those small things that you wouldn't necessarily add in a very very rough sketch so that's what you see now he said it takes maybe two to three sketches i don't know for me it takes three but i'm sticking to that advice But let's talk about what we were going to talk about. Last year, I asked myself, Masosa what? And I said, you need to draw more. Draw every day and get back to what you like. I was thinking too much about my job. I was working so much for not much pay and I was tired on the weekends. Literally any day that I had off, I was too tired to do anything. But in 2018, I got out of that funk and I felt better about myself because I was doing something that I like, something I want to do, not just something that I need to do. <sighs> Adulting. So here are my resolutions for this year of 2019. Read 25 books, eat more salads and healthy meals, stretch, start working out, find another hobby outside art, Learn more art movie skills. Finish more art projects. Make merchandise. Start and do more watercolor or acrylic gouache. Post more art on social media consistently. Read, browse less on social media. So let me explain these a little bit more. This was actually an accident because last year I was using my Kindle app on my iPhone and I realized that I could do a reading challenge for myself. I think I set myself to read 18 books, which I finished, yay! This year I wanted to challenge myself more. It was so much fun, so I wanted to do it again. Hence why there's a question mark because I don't know if I can finish 25 books or not, but let's just try. So I basically just want to eat healthier. When I visited my mom in Chicago, I actually didn't do very well, but I felt more satisfied whenever I did have salads and had a better balanced dish. Actually, I kept forgetting to ask at restaurants for them to put the dressing on the side and when the salad would come to me, I think, no, this is too much dressing. This defeats the whole purpose of eating healthy. So yeah, I just want to eat healthier because that's what I do in Japan. You know how some people say, I need to work out more. Yeah, yeah, well, this is not it. This is, I need to work out <laughs> because I just don't work out. <laughs> I used to work out, but now I don't. So I need to start again. And I actually found out that it was fun to record my walks wherever I go. Plus you get to see a bit of Tokyo. Um, so I'm thinking of doing that as a starting point to me being more active in my personal life. Let me know in the poll. Are you interested in seeing slightly speed up walking videos around Tokyo? Number four, find another hobby. So yeah, it's pretty basic. I do art as my career goals. And while I hang out with my boyfriend, I also do art. I just wanted to do something different. I don't want to do art 24 seven and then feel burnt out. So I needed another hobby, perhaps Sims 4 or Splatoon 2, something that's not art. <laughs> it's about your well-being, Jess, your well-being. 
This is more about what I want to do for my career in the future. I ask myself questions like, what kind of person do you want to be at work? And what skills do you need to be that? I found really good advice on Skillshare actually, which I left the link down below for you to see that. After I thought about it, I figured out that I just want more skills in motion graphics and other programs in Adobe that, you know, expands my skills. Number six, another simple one. I just want to finish stuff. I want to see it on a canvas. I want to see it on merch. I want to see it on the computer. I want to see it on Instagram, whatever it is. I just want to finish it with full color, all the line work finished, nothing just left there for me to go back many months later and say, oh, this is not my style anymore. I'm going to change it up and do it all over again and then never finish it. No, I want to see finished stuff. Number seven, the best one of all, yes, merch. I want to make money, I like making money. I think you do too. Plus, since I was a kid, I've always loved stickers and many times I think, ooh, I want to make a sticker of that. So hey, I'm gonna try that. Speaking of stickers, this year I will challenge myself to do stickers for Line. If you don't know, Line is the main chatting and calling app in Japan. Everybody uses it. I use it. My boyfriend uses it. His co-workers use it. And if you don't have it, I extremely recommend it. It's just amazing. And Line, if you want to sponsor this video, I would love that. Sadly, it's not. Next is try other mediums such as watercolor and acrylic wash. I love how the colors looked. I tried watercolor just a little bit last year with Inktober and I want to try more because I want to hang things up on my wall. Ooh, we're almost done here. Number nine. Sometimes my emotions get the better of me, so I really want to try and keep to the schedule I made myself. I want to be less lazy and just more productive. Yay, this is the last one. This ties with my previous one, but just post more and browse less. I take so much time going through other people's artwork, leaving messages, you know, trying to connect with my art community because I want to reach out, but I need to let go sometimes and just focus on myself and my goals. I want to put out more content, share my art, and connect with you guys who have similar interests. So there you have it, my goals for 2019. I'm going to challenge myself and now because I said it on a YouTube video, I really need to do it. Oh my gosh. Let me know in the comments below. Do you have goals or resolutions for this year? Did you achieve what you set out to do last year? I'm really interested in your thoughts too. But no, really, this is it. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it for those who stuck around to the end and listened to this rant. Not because you want to see my walk around Shibuya, but because you like my art. Yeah? I, I, I hope so. I mean, she's so cute. Anyways, it makes me happy that you like my content so much so that I know you will click that like and subscribe button. You can also head over to my Instagram for daily updates, behind the scenes sketches, me failing at life, and just having fun in live streams. You can also go over here to see this previous video where I talk about being successfully prepared for Inktober. Or you can head over here to my red bubble to get some cool iPhone cases or tote bags, whatever fits your fancy. That's it for now, have an awesome time, and I will see you later. And as promised, here's some footage of Shibuya.